Hello EG viewers and random Doctor Who fans, today in a special Vote Saxon 07 review I will be taking a look at this, the Spirit of Light Sonic Screwdriver toy which was originally released way back in 1985 and here it is in its condom. Good god. Anyway, at the top we get this yellow cardboard sheet with the Doctor Who logo off to the side. It is the official Sonic Screwdriver with copyright guff underneath it and it's made in Taiwan. And it's exactly the same on the opposite side. The screwdriver is encased in this plastic transparent bag thing which looks like it's seen better days, let's be honest. So that does it for the packaging. Let's move on to the toy itself. Okay, so here we have the Spirit of Light Sonic Screwdriver, and this thing is massive! It's quite bottom heavy and it features no paint apps, while the plastic feels very cheap and brittle. At the top we get the halo, which is sculpted quite sharply with the three struts holding the bullet in place, while the electromagnet is represented by this cylinder on the back. Underneath at the neck you can spot three speaker holes on the front and also on the back too. The collar has been recreated very, very well, with some very sharp moulded detail, especially on the rings near the bottom. A very obvious plastic join is visible running down the sides, however. The handle is just a plain cylinder and kind of reminiscent of the 8th Doctor screwdriver in that way, and we just have an on-off button cut into the side. A sticker with instructions on how to access the battery compartment is present on the end cap, with some legal shumbrung on the bottom. So that's it for detail. Great moulding, but far too big and lacking paint apps. Moving to features, the Sonic has a sound effect which is operated by pressing this button on the handle as opposed to sliding the collar down. So let's have a listen. As you can hear, it emits a bizarre noise which is kind of reminiscent of that classic Sonic sound effect, but hey, that's just my opinion. I decided to ask Anthony and see what he thought. Anthony! Oh, you're there. Check this out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so that's the original 1985 Sonic Screwdriver toy. This is the toy. That was released. Yeah. Here's the sound effect. It's dying. <laughs> that's like a, that's, like, that's death. But what I really love about it is the techno remix. That's actually really good. Let's just have a long listen to that. Seriously, add a bass line, add some drums to that, that's a Calvin Harris record. So, where did you find this? To access the batteries, twist the end cap and remove it. This allows you to gently pull out the battery housing where two AA batteries can be installed. And doing a size comparison... Well, <laughs> I told you this thing was massive. Look at it! It easily dwarfs any of the Sonic Screwdriver toys from the Revived series. How big were kids back in the 80s? So overall, what do I think of this toy? Well, it's great to take a nostalgic look back at the Doctor Who toys of yesteryear, and if you were a fan of the show back then, then this was one of the must-have products. I can see the appeal of it, as it's the same reason why kids want the new Sonic toys today. It brings you closer to the show, when you pretend to be the Doctor on the playground. This adds to the roleplay. As a toy, it basically does what it needs to. It looks like the prop from the show and it makes a sonic buzzing noise. But why it's so big, I will never understand. This is a toy designed for children and yet it's the same size as a lightsaber hilt and some paint apps would have helped it too. But if anything, it really makes me appreciate the character options toys that we have today. Oh, excuse me a second, that's just my phone. <laughs> Oh, it's a message about what I have to review in one of my upcoming videos. Let's see what it is. Son of a... And so that does it for this review. I really hope you liked it. If you did and you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe for more videos and keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.